Wall boys, welcome back to high school. We're gonna have a lot of fun here, considering that I can only use melee weapons. I hate this place, and whoever suggested it, I'm going to throw something at you. But it's a fun challenge, I, I guess. So, what I'm gonna do in honor of the challenge. Oh. oh, I hate you. I do not like you. Come here. No, come here. Where's my cleaver? Where are you? Okay. Okay, let's just... All right. <clears throat> so, anyways. I swear to God. Whoever suggested this, you don't have friends. Librarian office. Well then, let's ignore the corpse. Don't let what happened to me last time happening again, where I just get jump scared randomly. <clears throat> that was the worst experience in this game that I have ever had. Though I'm not entirely sure if the new one that I just had, with already being scared, and then <laughs> that door being broken down, not entirely sure if that tops it. Because it might. It actually, you know, but, oh, all right, well, this room, this room is just blue, so we're good. <coughs> all right. Hey, buddy. I whiffed it. There's three of them. I love this weapon. If I'm going melee only, I am never not using this weapon. Surprisingly, it seems like there's less zombies than there was before. But there's also an early herd, so I probably should speed up a little bit. Okay, let's... Take another pillow. Might need it for later. <clears throat> that one's diseased. Nope. Okay, it's melee only, so I'll uh, throw stuff at it. Um, back up. <laughs> God bless. God. 
throw it. I hate whoever suggested this. There's my medicine. <clears throat> Just hit it in the head for the first time, couldn't it? Could I? There. Clean kill. Vaguely. Don't ask why I'm carrying two katanas. That's perfectly normal in the apocalypse, I promise. <coughs> also, don't ask where I got the two katanas from, because I don't know. Another diseased. Whoever suggested melee only, you're a terrible person. And if given the choice in a zombie apocalypse, I would leave you behind. <laughs> Please do understand. No offense. Full offense. <clears throat> God! How many? <clears throat> Another diseased one. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna throw this one back. <laughs> I think that's the strat. Push them back and then throw a weapon at them. What how much time? Quite a bit. I just... I, can you spare a fresh bandage? My wound's gonna rot if I don't clean it. Um. Even a single bandage would mean so much. These are the important bandages. I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I a bad person for murdering a girl that just wanted a bandage? Maybe. Is it probably better to kill them while they're, you know, not being eaten alive by zombies? Maybe. But that's not really a debate that everybody is ready for, is it? Store's gonna be locked. Yep. Alright, I'm almost out of here. Just gotta... Ooh, note. I wonder who it's from. Oh, get, get me that. Floor by floor we fought. Five bloody and costly weeks to clear the entire building. By the time our climb was through and the building was secure, our numbers were reduced to 36. Twelve brave and beautiful souls lost. But their sacrifices were not in vain. We had our home. Our tower. Word of our success spread like wildfire. Ah. Every day more and more survivors found their way to our gates. And we welcomed them with arms wide open. We had the room to grow. And we grew quickly. 
In those early days, we were unified, and as a result, we were prosperous. One collective mind. One collective vision. They allowed us to regain control of our lives. But as the population grew, dissent found its way into the collective and reared its ugly head at the most difficult of times. And what did we do? Did we crumble? Did we change our course? No. We persevered, as we have from the beginning. We knew that our future remained bright if we stayed committed to what brought us to our tower in the first place. So let us not allow all the noise to knock us back down to the ground from the heights we have already achieved. Let us continue to climb together. We must cut loose those who burden us with their petty squabbles, their poisonous minds, and their freeloading ways. Trust in Mama when I say we are better off without them. Have I ever steered you wrong? Yeah, probably. If I had to guess. Give or take. I'm gonna give it a maybe. I'm looking for the crafting recipe of something, but I don't know where it is. Which tends to be pretty important when you're looking for the crafting recipe of something. You know, you kind of have to know where you should be looking. That door is going to crumble as soon as I open it, and I'm going to be ready with a katana. Watch this. Oh! Never mind! No. Mm-mm. Absolutely not. Screw that. This is a melee-only run, and I am not going back there. <clears throat> no. Mm-mm. Absolutely not. Matter of fact, no. I don't think I'm ever gonna come back to Rampart. After what I just witnessed in that gym, I'm not going back. I knew it was gonna crumble. I called it, but there was like three diseased among those walkers. God, another diseased. How did I... Oh my god, that was the coolest thing that I have ever done. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Huh. How did I manage to decapitate a walker by throwing a sword at it? And then it landed, like, head first. That's actually awesome. Jesus. Alright. I consider this a pretty successful run. Collected a couple heads. Only used melee. Killed like four diseased walkers. I did abandon the gym, which I do kind of regret, but, you know. Nobody was going to go in there even if I had weapons. Or like actual guns. 